Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about the digital authenticity, how a lot of designers are forgoing the date stamps or the physical authenticity cards and changing to a way of digital authenticity by embedding microchips in their items. So I did a little bit of research and it seems like LVMH is developing this platform called Aura, which uses the blockchain technology to digitally record everything about an item that they produce from the raw material sourced, where the materials were sourced, where it was assembled and packaged, where it was sold to whom. So pretty much the whole life cycle about an item would be stored in this blockchain technology based platform called Aura. Guys, I'm just editing it. I just wanted to add and when an item is sold from one person to another. So when it changes ownership, just like any other expensive item like a house or a car, apparently this digital signature of the particular item will record that as well. So it literally tracks every single thing from production to the first owner to the subsequent owners. So it's really, truly revolutionary. So I'm not a very tech savvy person, so I don't exactly understand how this technology works, but I wanted to talk about the implications of this new digital authenticity system to you and I as consumers of these goods and how it may change the way we shop luxury items. By the way, if you're new to my channel and this is the very first video of mine you clicked on, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. I'm Isabel and I do videos all about luxury fashion and mindful shopping. So if that sounds like your cup of tea I would love it if you consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get alerted every time I upload a new video that will really mean a lot to me anyway back to the video so by having these microchips each item will have a digital ID to it so it is going to be very difficult to replicate this so the main advantage of this change would be really suppressing the replica market because physical authenticity cards and date codes and all of those things are a lot easier to replicate than a digital ID. I am so sorry I keep interjecting but just wanted to add that apparently as of this year 2021 all of LV's leather goods come with a microchip inside rather than a decode. So apparently in the store, your sales associate can scan the microchip and all of the details about the item pops up on the screen. So yeah, next time I go in, I'm going to ask my SA to show me that. That's pretty cool. So I'm sure you guys are all familiar, but I wanted to quickly show you what the traditional decode looks like. This is in my Neverfull MM Demia Bean. As you can see, we have some letters and numbers and that pretty much indicates where the bag was made and when it was made. So the number here is 4105. So the second and the fourth numbers form a 15, which means the bag was made in 2015. And the first and the third numbers, four and zero, make the number 40. That means the bag was made in the 40th week of the 2015. So Louis Vuitton items will no longer have this sort of a date code. And now they'll be replaced with microchips embedded in the item, which will digitally track the item. And I've also read that LVMH is going to make the platform available for a lot of different designer brands to fight against the replica market because it is a common goal and problem that many designer brands are affected by and need to fight against. So it'll be a unique thing to see a lot of designer brands rather than competing against each other but to come together to solve a common problem so another big advantage of having a digital tracking system like this would be apparently if your item is stolen you can report it and the item would be marked on the system as a stolen item so it'll be very difficult for whoever stole the item to resell the item and the last main benefit of having this system would be transparency and ethical sourcing of materials. Sustainability is such a big topic at the moment. A lot of brands are striving to have sustainable practices. So having this digital way of recording where the raw materials come from and all of that would increase the transparency because this needs to be recorded and this data will be able to be seen by pretty much everyone who has access to this platform. So I can definitely see huge benefits to both brands as well as us as consumers. The other interesting that I read on this article, a blog post, I'm going to leave a link to it down below because this is not my ideas just from my research that I'm sharing with you, is that there is a possibility that these designer brands will 
buy back pre-loved items that their customers don't want anymore and possibly sell these pre-loved items themselves. I'm not sure how likely it is that this is going to happen, but it definitely makes a lot of sense. So it's almost like secondhand car market. You know, a lot of car dealers, including luxury car brands, they sell their brand new cars as well as their used vehicles. So when you compare that market to the luxury market, I feel like it is a pretty logical thing that could happen. And we all know that the pre-loved and the resale luxury market has been consistently growing in the last few years, especially in the last couple of years, it has really grown, which is great because it reduces wastage. So rather than throwing out the luxury items that are made to last, when we don't want the items anymore for one reason or another, we are selling them on so that the next person can get a bit of a discount usually and still get to enjoy the item that they wanted and traditionally I feel like the designer brands although they know that this goes on they were taking a sense of no comment they didn't really acknowledge it they knew it was going on but it wasn't something that they openly discussed or you know really encouraged their customers to do but from the article i read it said something along the lines of rather than these designer brands letting a third party benefit from this booming market they might want to facilitate it and keep it all in house, which I think it makes total sense. Again, with the motor vehicle industry comparison, it totally makes sense. So yeah, I'm really excited to see where this all goes with this new change and how long this is gonna take to be adopted by many of the designer brands. If you guys know anything else about this, do leave them in the comments below. I really just wanted to open a discussion about the topic. I think it is really interesting and exciting at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.